Hello everyone. Today, we are going to answer the 20 review questions we posted last Monday August 9, 2021. We will also have a shout out to our random commenters and subscribers. If you want us to shout out your name, please leave a comment and subscribe to our channel in our succeeding videos. At the end of this video, we will also reveal our 3 week 3 winners. So, stay tuned. So, shall we begin? In grow out pen culture of mangrove crabs, which of the following practices is incorrect? A. Stocking density of 20,000 to 30,000 pieces per hectare. B. Digging of trench canals. C. Selective harvesting. Or D. Feeding of low value catch. The correct answer is A. Stocking density of 20,000 to 30,000 pieces per hectare. Mangrove grabs are cannibalistic in nature. There is high chance of cannibalism in higher stocking densities, because bigger and stronger individuals will likely cannibalize the weak and smaller crabs, especially those who are undergoing molting. During low tides, mangrove crabs are more prone to predation. By digging trench canals, crabs can still hide in canals that are filled with water. Not all crabs grow at the same time even they are of the same age. Some grows faster than others, and some can be harvested earlier than other crabs stocked. In this case, manual selection harvesting can be done. Crablets are feed with minced low value of fish, mollusks, such as meat of snails, clams, and others, and or boiled chicken trash at satiation or 100 to 150% of total body weight per day. The daily ration is divided and given into two feedings. Which of the following, is not part of the life cycle of sea cucumbers? A. Doliolaria B. Trochophore C. Pentacula Or D. Auricularia The correct answer is B. Trochophore The trochophore larva, is part of the life cycle of mollusks, but not of sea cucumbers. Doliolaria, Pentacula, and Auricularia are all part of the life cycle of sea cucumbers. Which of the following have lower chance of survival when discarded? 1. Juvenile fishes. 2. Matured species. 3. Crustaceans. And 4. Scaly species. The choices are A. All, except 1. B. All, except 2. C. All, except 3. Or D. All, except 4. The correct answer is A. All, except 1. What is the size classification of a male mangrove crab, Psilocerata, weighing 501 to 700 grams? A. Small. B. Medium. C. Large. Or D. Oversize. The correct answer is B. Medium. The size classification for male and female mangrove crab, Psilocerata, is different. According to Philippine National Standard, set by Bureau of Agricultural and Fisheries Products Standard No. 177, an individual male crab Psilocerata, weighing more than 1,000 grams, is considered as extra large or oversize, while it is more than 700 grams for female mangrove crab. Males which weigh between 701 and 1,000 grams, and females with weight of 501 to 700 grams, are considered as large. Medium crabs are those with weight between 501 and 700 grams for male and 401 to 500 grams for female. Small crabs have weight between 200 and 500 grams for males, and between 200 and 400 grams for females. Which of the following, is not a product of hybridization? A. Red tilapia B. Super male tilapia C. Malobicus and D. Blue tilapia there are two correct answers in this item. The first is B, super male tilapia, and D, blue tilapia. 
Red tilapia is combination of several tilapia species. The Taiwanese red tilapia, is the breeding of normal male Oreochromes niloticus, and reddish-orange female Oreochromes mosambicus. Florida red tilapia strain, is the breeding of normal female Oreochromes hornorum, and red gold male Oreochromes mosambicus. In super male tilapia, aka ye male tilapia technology, the usual species used is the Oreochromes niloticus. It is based on the genetic manipulation of sex, and achieved through a combination of feminization and progeny testing, to identify the novel Yi genotype that sires only Xi natural male progeny, or natural male tilapia. Meanwhile, Malobicus is a hybrid of Oreochromes niloticus and Oreochromes mosambicus. It is a product of research and development program, which began at the National Integrated Fisheries Technology Center of the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources in Dagupan City, Pangasinan. Malobicus is a highly salt-tolerant and fast-growing tilapia hybrid, and was developed in two phases, the salinity tolerance phase and the growth selection phase, through hybridization and selection. Lastly, blue tilapia scientifically known as Oreochromes aureus. It is a deep-bodied, compressed shape, and have olive to bluish-gray dorsally, yellow olive to silver laterally and white ventrally. Knife fish is one of the aquarium fishes that became invasive species in many freshwater environment. This fish is now wreaking havoc on the milkfish and tilapia industries of the lakes, and are listed in Yukon as near-threatened species. What is its scientific name? A. Carasius auratus B. Pteragoplichthys disjunctivus C. Chitala ornata and D. Cistraeus plicatilis the correct answer is C. Chitala ornata. Carasius auratus is goldfish. Pteragoplichthys disjunctivus is genitor fish or vermiculated sailfin catfish. And Cistraeus plicatilis is river lobed mullet. The following are local names for yellowfin tuna, Tunus alba caries, except A. Tambicol. B. Barrelis. C. Kara or D. Malasugi. The correct answer is D. Malasugi. Malasugi is the local term either for sailfish or marlin. Yellowfin tuna are locally known as the following Baliling, Bankulis, Banalan, Barrels or Barrelis, Bronsian, Kara or Karao, Malaguno. Forals, Pacan, Polapala, Panit, Panito, Pirit, Kikya 1, Dambikal, Dikla, Tulingan, Vauyo. Which of the following is not an agent of spoilage in fish? A. Enzymes, B. Bacterial, C. Chemical, or D. Mechanical. The correct answer is D. Mechanical. Which region have the highest production in the brackish water fish ponds in 2019? A. Northern Mindanao. B. Central Luzon. C. Western Visayas. And D. Ilocos region. The correct answer is C. Western Visayas After Western Visayas, Central Luzon have the second highest brackish water pond production, followed by Northern Mindanao in third, and Ilocos region in fourth. It is the green pigment in plants, that transforms light energy into chemical energy in photosynthesis. What is this? A. Xanthophyll B. Chlorophyll C. Fucoxanthin and D. Phycoerythrin. The correct answer is B. Chlorophyll. Xanthophyll is a yellow, light harvesting pigment. Fucoxanthin is a brown or olive green colored pigment, present in brown algae. Phycoerythrin is a red, light harvesting pigment present in red algae. 
Fisheries Administrative Order No. 242, is about reinstating the ban on the export of a. Lobsters b. Elvers c. Shrimp or Prawn d. Seaweeds The correct answer is b. Elvers The export of Elvers was first banned in 1973, through the FAO 107. The banning on exportation was suspended in 1986, through FAO 159. The banning on the export of elvers, or eel larvae and fingerlings, was reinstated pursuant to FAO No. 242 in 2012. Where do the processing of fish and fishery products start? A. Landing sites B. Processing plants C. Upon capture and D. Fish markets The correct answer is C. Upon capture Usually, the processing of fish and fishery products starts right after these are captured. Examples of fish processing methods that can be employed, include chilling, and freezing. What is the other name for Azala? A. Duckweed fern B. Legume weed C. Soybean weed Or D. Water hyacinth The correct answer is A. Duckweed fern Azala, is commonly known as mosquito fern, duckweed fern, fairy moss or water fern. It is a genus of seven species of aquatic ferns in the family Salvinaceae. They are extremely reduced in form and specialized, looking nothing like other typical ferns, but more resembling duckweed NBSP, or some mosses. It is considered an invasive plant in wetlands, freshwater lakes and ditches, and can alter aquatic ecosystems and biodiversity substantially. Which of the following sea turtle is the largest? A. Leatherback turtle B. Green turtle C. Loggerhead turtle or D. Hawksbill turtle The correct answer is A. Leatherback turtle or Dermachelis coriacea There are seven sea turtle species worldwide, and leatherback turtle is the largest. They can grow up 188 centimeters in shell length, and weigh 500 kilograms. Among these seven sea turtle species, Kemp's Radley or Lepidoshles kempii, is the smallest which can grow up to 2 feet and weigh 50 kilograms only. What is the typical pH range, of normal, clean rain? A. pH 4.0 to 4.5 B. pH 5.0 to 5.5 C. pH 6.5 to 7.5 and D. pH 8.5 to 9.5. The correct answer is B. pH 5.0 to 5.5. Acid rain, or acid deposition, is a broad term that includes any form of precipitation with acidic components, such as sulfuric or nitric acid that fall to the ground from the atmosphere, in wet or dry forms. This can include rain, snow, fog, hail or even dust that is acidic. Acid rain has a typical pH range of 4.2 to 4.4. Glass containers, are often chosen for home canning because of the following advantages, except A. Reusable B. No special sealing equipment needed C. Slower production speeds or D. Easy to open and reseal The correct answer is C slower production speeds glass containers are reusable does not need special sealing equipment and easy to open and reseal after opening which of the following seaweed species is commonly cultured with milk fish in ponds a sargassum b enormorpha c gracilaria and d padina the correct answer is C. Gracilaria The culture of Gracilaria started in 1962 in southwestern Taiwan. 
Its culture in the Philippines used to be an extensive method applied by milkfish farmers, primarily for the food of the milkfish. The species presently used for culture in some countries include Gracilaria corda, Gracilaria edulis, Gracilaria varicosa, Gracilaria lichenoides, Gracilaria compressa, and Gracilaria hegus. Among these species, Gracilaria varicosa is the most popular due to its ability to adapt to a wide range of ecological conditions, higher production rates, and better gel quality. Gracilaria production in ponds is primarily influenced by three ecological factors, namely salinity, light, and temperature. Salinity of 20 to 24 ppt appears to be optimal for growth. Which of the following marine organisms are closely related to sea cucumbers? A. Giant clams. B. Jellyfish. C. Mangrove crabs. Or D. Sea urchins. The correct answer is D. Sea urchins. Sea cucumbers are under the phylum Echinodermata. Giant clams are under the phylum Mollusca. Jellyfish are under the phylum Nadaria. Mangrove crabs are under the phylum Arthropoda, and sea urchins are under the phylum Echinodermata. Which of the following is not a baited gear? A. Beach seine. B. Handline. C. Longline. And D. Squid pot. The correct answer is A. Beach seine. Baited gears are equipped with bait, such as live, or chooped fish, which aim to attract the targeted species. Handline, longline, and squid pot require bait to attract target species. P. On the other hand, beach seine requires pulling or towing of the guide to effect capture of target species. Salt removes water through the process called blank. A. Dehydration. B. Drying. C. Brining. And D. Osmosis. The correct answer is D. Osmosis. Dehydration is any process of drying by controlled and artificial means. Drying is the removal of moisture by exposing a product to natural currents of air and humidity. Brining is a process of placing fish in a solution of food grade salt in water for a period of sufficient length for the fish tissue to absorb a significant quantity of salt. And osmosis is a process by which molecules of a solvent tend to pass through a semi-permeable membrane from a less concentrated solution into a more concentrated one, thus equalizing the concentrations on each side of the membrane. Congratulations to our week 3 winners. Elmich Martyr Criza Joy Sanchez and Joyce Benales. That's it for today. Thank you for your participation. We hope that you will still take part in our next weekly review quizzes. Keep safe always.